guys, today we're going to be doing a variation of a style that we posted a few weeks ago in our 7 Easy Hairstyles video, and I will have that one linked below if you didn't see it. I've started with a side part. If you prefer a center part, you can do that instead. And then I'm just going to grab two sections right here next to that part, and I'm going to make a fishtail braid in each one. Okay, I'm going to start with this piece closest to her face, and you want to grab a fairly large section of hair. It's just easier, in my opinion, while you're making a fishtail braid if you have a decent amount of hair to work with. So to make the braid, I'm going to split this in half, and then with this section on the right, I'm going to split off a small strand from that outside piece, and I'm going to cross it over to the section on the left. And then I'm going to break off a piece from the outside of that left section and cross it over to the right. And I'm just going to repeat that all the way down the braid. I'm wanting this to be more of a loose and relaxed braid, so I'm going to be stretching it out a little bit as I go. If you want to make it tight, that's just your personal preference. You can do it either way. Since her hair is so long, I don't braid it all the way down before I stretch it out. I'll just go down a couple of inches like that and then go back and stretch what I have so far. Then I'm just going to keep repeating that process until I get to the ends of her hair. Okay, I went ahead and braided that all the way to the bottom, and as you can see, I've stretched that braid out so it's more of a relaxed and messy look. I'm going to make one more just like it right next to it along that part. And then on this other side, I'm going to make two more braids. So we're going to have four total. And I'm just going to do that off camera because that's going to be pretty boring to watch me braid all of that. Okay, I went ahead and finished that braiding. So we have two on this side of the part and then two more over on this side. Obviously, you can do whatever kind of braids you want. If you're in a time crunch, I would recommend not doing fishtails. They're probably the most time consuming braid. You can just do regular braids or twist braids if you're in a hurry but I think the fishtails are really pretty. So the next step is to grab the two braids that are in the front, and I'm just going to bring them loosely around to the back. You don't want to get these super tight, and then I'm just going to tie them together here with a clear elastic. And then the next step is to grab these braids that are now in the center, and I'm just going to split those apart and tie them to each side, just like this. Depending on the length of hair you're working with, you may need to do it up a little bit higher or you can do it down lower if you're working with long hair. As you're tying this other side, you'll just want to get these even so that the hairstyle is symmetrical. Okay, that is the finished style. If you're working with fairly long hair like she has, you could actually take these braids and tie them together one more time here at the bottom. I'm just going to leave ours apart. 